it's always fun. Challenging, interesting, and uh, I actually enjoyed it because it was like I felt like I was making a difference, like I was helping them, especially when we do injection therapy and they can come back and they, you know, we can help them and they're doing really well. We're very happy about that. Well, we have the uh, surgical center next door. It's actually, we're all under one roof here. So we have one side's clinic side, one side is surgery side. When the patients see us for their office visit, they know where to come for their procedure as well. So we deal with a lot more with neuraxial type pain, you know, in the neuraxis rather than out on the shoulders or so forth like that. So if patients have truncal pain uh, around the rib cage area, abdominal pain, uh, neck pain, headache pain, kind of the, the more middle area. <laughs> And then the orthopedic surgeon, you know, they tend to deal more with the shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, feet. So it's kind of divided. So we really take care of that pain, which people have chronically, meaning six months or longer. Of course, we subscribe to a lot of journals and articles through the internet. And there, nowadays we have our cell phones and our email. And so new advances are always being just pretty much just popping up on our desk, so to speak, whether it's on the phone with through our email or, or whatever, we see new uh, stuff all the time coming through now. So t science is getting more technical all the time. Companies which sometimes provide us the hardware, they're always inventing new and better ways of, of treating the patients. And so they're coming up with new technologies that then we have to learn to use it on a patient. Their pain can just be treated with um, just medications then that's great. If they need, you know, physical therapy, chiropractic therapy, acupuncture therapy, you know, uh, massage therapy, whatever, that's you know, biofeedback, that's great. If they then need to have injections, we do injections, you know, at whatever level. If they need to have implantable devices, then we go to that. But So it's kind of a stepwise fashion that you always take every patient through, going from the least amount of work to then having to go through more progressive stages and it just depends sometimes you know based on the patient's diagnosis or kind of the feel for the patient you can tell how quickly you may have to advance through the steps sometimes it's quickly sometimes it's slowly but you know you there's a pathway that you follow you know my favorite patient stories are the ones where uh we make a big difference in their lives where we uh they just come back, you know, saying, hey, you know, what you did was absolutely wonderful. I'm 100% better. I can do things that I wasn't doing before. You know, that, that makes you feel real good inside.